Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross key skill video on equating coefficients to find constants in an identity. Now what do we mean by identity? Well you can recognise it when you have this symbol here. We have the three horizontal strokes. It looks a bit like an equals but we've got that extra stroke there. So what does it mean? Now let's just say we had an equation x squared is equal to 9 and I asked you to solve that. What values of x make it work? Well you've got x is equal to 3 and you've also got x is equal to minus 3. Those are the two solutions of this equation because 3 squared is 9 but minus 3 squared is also 9. So for this equation we've just got particular values of x which satisfy the equation. But if we had this equation here x brackets x plus 1 is equal to x squared plus x and I ask you to find all the values of x which solves the equation, you might be a bit confused because any value of x you try will always make them equal. So if I, for example, made x equal to 1, well, 1 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 squared plus 1. If I had x equals 2, that would satisfy the equation as well. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 2 squared plus 2. And you might think that's obvious because when you expand that out, you do get that expression. So it doesn't really make sense to say that you're solving this equation. It's the case that this is always true for any value of x that you choose. And if that's the case, it's stronger than an equation, it's actually an identity. So we put the triple equals to mean that these are always the same for all values of x. So we can say an identity is always true for all values of the variables. And if you have what's known as a polynomial, so we have different powers of x, so we've got like x squared, we've got an x term, we might have x cubed, etc. Then if it's an identity, the coefficients, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a second, the coefficients on each side of the equation must be the same. So for example, if we had ax plus b is identical to 3x plus 2, then the coefficients on each side of the equation must be the same. By coefficients, I just mean the number in front of the x, in front of the x squared, etc. So the x terms must match. So we must have that the a, which is a coefficient of the x term here, the a must be equal to the 3. And also the constant terms, the terms without an x, they must be the same as well. So the b must be equal to a 2. And this is only true for identities. It's not true in general for all equations. For example, in this equation here, the coefficient of x squared is just 1, because it's 1x squared, but there is no x squared term on the right, the coefficient is 0, and that's because it's an equation, not an identity. So let's apply that to this question here. We've got this identity here, and remember, as per this advice here, the coefficients on each side of the equation must be the same. So what we might write is, comparing the x terms, so there's no x squared terms, but comparing the x terms, we look at the coefficients on each side of the equation. So what's the coefficient of the x term on the left-hand side? Well, the thing in front of the x term is 8a. So we've got 8a on the left, and that's got to be equal to the coefficient of the x term on the right. Well, what have we got in front of the x term? The coefficient is 120. So 8a must be equal to 120. They have to match. And therefore, if we divide by 8 we get 15, so a is 15. Now let's also compare what we call the constant terms. So comparing the non-x, the constant terms, without a variable in it. Then on the left-hand side, well, that's a constant term. It doesn't have an x in it. b and a are, are constants, by the way. So minus 17b, we got on the left. And this is the constant here, plus 9a. And then on the right-hand side, our constant is just 50. So by the way, the coefficients here are not minus 17 and 9. B and A are not variables, so we just take the whole term. That whole thing is the constant. Now, we've already worked out A. A is 15. So if we just sub that in, minus 17B plus 9 times 15 is equal to 50. And then we can just solve this equation. So we just got 9 times 15 which is 135. So we could subtract that 135 from both sides, which is minus 85. Minus 17b is equal to minus 85. And then dividing both sides by minus 17, 
we get five. So B is equal to five, and that is the final answer.